All right, guys, what is going on? I am back in the office. I am back here again with another video. And uh, I got a lot of great feedback on uh, on my PC build video that I did. It's not on my desktop for a good reason, which is actually the reason why I'm doing the video today. Um, but uh, I got a lot of great feedback on that. And I kind of just got the, I guess, up, like the PC building like upgrade kind of bug. Um, so uh, I have a laptop here. This is my Dell XPS uh, 9750. Um, this is the XPS 15. Um, it's a 15 inch laptop. I've had this for quite some time now. And after upgrading my PC, uh, the main reason I actually upgraded it was because my laptop wasn't performing to like where I wanted it to be. Um, and so I got the PC and that's been amazing. But I, I looked into upgrading uh, my XPS and it's actually a fairly simple process. Um, so I figured why not just get the parts and upgrade this as well. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So for my actual laptop itself, it's got a 500 gig hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to be putting in a one terabyte hard drive and doubling the RAM up to 32 gigs here. So. What I'm actually doing is, if you remember my previous computer build, um, I put a one terabyte uh, N, what is it, N VME <laughs> M.2 hard drive into my PC. I'm pointing because it's on the floor. Um, so what I actually ended up doing is I ended up purchasing this right here. This is the uh, Samsung 970 Evo Plus. In my PC, I just had the 970 Evo. Um, I didn't have the plus so I did some research and the plus has a few more benefits compared to just the regular one so what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the uh, original 970 Evo that I put into my PC and I'm putting that into my laptop here and then I'll be taking the Evo plus and putting that into my PC because I want the PC to be kind of my workhorse editing station um, and then I'm going to be taking the uh, NVMe drive out of my laptop and putting that into the secondary slot into my PC because of the motherboard that I have I'm able to do that and um, from a video editing standpoint, if you are familiar with video editing, uh, having your applications on one NVMe and then putting the scratch disk files, which are like the temporary files that you use while it's editing onto a second uh, NVMe drive and then having all your actual media, like the videos or photos you're editing on an external solid state drive is the fastest way um, to have everything run in terms of editing. So. I figured if I'm gonna, if I wanna upgrade the hard drive in my laptop, I can swap all those parts around and kind of make all that happen. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I have my XPS uh, right here and I have, um, I got this like small, I don't know if this is coming in the shot. Oh, there it is. Um, I got this case, which is like a screwdriver with a bunch of bits and whatnot. Um, you can get this off Amazon pretty pretty easily. So, um, and it's got all the bits and different things if you're doing any kind of computer repair jobs or anything like that. Um, this is great for that. So um, what I'm gonna be doing is unscrewing the bottom of the laptop and uh, taking you know the existing RAM and the hard drive out and putting the, um, the one from my PC in here. So um, I'll actually show you guys the RAM that I have here. Still got the stickers on it from Micro Center. Uh, tells you how much I paid for it and everything. <laughs> $99 each, so $200 total. Um, so I got this right here. What is this? Actually, I don't. I don't know if I want to really take the things off. This is. I got G Skill G Skill RAM right here. So it's right there. If it pops into focus, two sticks of 16 gig uh, G Skill RAM. Um, and this is gonna go into my laptop. Uh, this is 2400 um, DDR4 RAM. Um, I would go, I would have loved to go faster, but the thing is just because of this um, laptop, because of how old it is, if I do anything faster, it's just gonna throttle it back anyway. So I'm just gonna grab my bit here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is start unscrewing the back screws on the laptop here. So 
There's a lot of screws back here. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly yet as carefully as possible. There's another one. And uh, the whole thing with, you know, swapping the internal hard drives around is I have Windows installed on like, so on the NVMe I'm gonna, I took out of my computer. Um, I have Windows installed on that. And the one that I'm taking out of here, I have Windows installed on this as well. So I'll actually, uh, I actually have a Windows install USB stick uh, ready to go. And when I put, when I swap these drives around, um, if you followed the crazy path <laughs> that I was talking about, um, regardless of which ones may or may not have Windows installed on them, because they're going into new machines with whole new setups and everything, I'm just gonna close this, because they're going into all new machines, technically, um, with new, uh, you know, the parts and everything, the configurations um, are all are, are different, obviously. They're not identical machines, that's what I mean. Um, even if they were, I don't even think you'd want to just plug it in and just run a Windows off of it like that. So because everything is different, I am going to be um, doing a fresh install on Windows straight from a USB stick. And with that means I have to reinstall and do everything. So there's a couple screws left here. I'm just going to grab another bit and take those out as well. Uh, I think I need a bigger one here yeah so we got this one here got that out and we got this one here as well all right so we got all of these off and this back cover should just now very easily, if I can, I'm just gonna keep it in frame there, pops off just like this. So we'll just toss that aside. So right here is, um, is the RAM right here. And then we have the NVMe hard drive um, right there. So the hard drive, since I have the bit on here, that's gonna be the first thing I'll just take out, why not? So I'm gonna grab this, unscrew this, and it pops up. I'll put this on the side over here. I'm just kind of organizing the screws so I know where everything is. Um, and I actually have my replacement hard drive, the one terabyte, right here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll just take this out, kind of do a swap, grab this, Pop it in here so it's nice and safe and it's nicely labeled <laughs> I didn't see that until I actually popped it open and just slot this in here very easily push this down throw the screw on here just get this I want to drop this on the board I like to put it on there and then that's that just threw in the new hard drive just like that i kind of like with pc parts and everything building how kind of simplistic it's gotten it's really nice um the other thing i have in here is the battery i do want to swap that out as well at some point um, but for the ram i'm just gonna release it here it's got these two little hinges that hold it in on the side here i don't know if you guys can see that on the video there are these little arms um, and you just kind of push them aside like this and it'll pop the RAM up just like that. It's very similar to um, like the SSD where it kind of pops up and has tension there. Um, and, and then, you know, when you put it back down, it, it kind of like holds itself into place and creates tension to make sure the connections are touching and everything there. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to this RAM um, just, just for the hell of it, um, to be totally honest. And I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna keep it in the same packaging. Um, you never know if I have a friend who wants, who needs a RAM upgrade or something, I can always help them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'll put this on the side as a sticker. Um, I'm gonna grab the replacement RAM out of here. If I can get it out. I'm surprised it's in here actually. So, you know, you don't wanna risk obviously breaking it or anything. Just pop it out the side. But I wanna keep the case kind of intact. So I'll grab this, pull this out. And you know, if you wanna do this surefire, just kind of make sure you're lining them up perfectly and putting them back in the same way, right? So it's hard to mess up because there's a slot there that fits right in. And that's pretty much it. So you take this, press it down, done. And we'll do the other one. Just take this out. All right, so I got the other RAM right here. Rip jars DDR4. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one right here. Just gonna pull this out. I'm gonna drop it into this case that I have here. All right. I'm gonna put that on the side and same thing. Just kind of slot this in. I'm not blocking the view here. Slot this in right here. And it should kind of hold itself up. And you wanna just press it down like that. Right, see that right there? And that's pretty much it. I mean, didn't take long at all really to throw all that in. Um, I'm just gonna throw it, throw the, uh, the back panel back on. Um, I won't be able to fire up the computer obviously because I need to install Windows onto it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, upgrading the RAM, upgrading the SSD internally. Very simple, uh, very easy. I think the whole upgrade costed me about 500 bucks. Um, and this should give me a few more years of use out of this laptop. I've had it for quite some time now, so um, this should give me a few more years just by upgrading this. Um, I'm probably gonna do the battery at some point, but uh, right now my priority was just the RAM and the SSD. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, I guess this upgrade, not kind of semi-build, not really a build, just an upgrade. Um, let me know if you have any questions, uh, comments, or anything. I'd love to hear it. And uh, I appreciate the comments and the conversation and everyone who subscribed. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.